This is Culture Communication and Brand Moments with Shelby Joe Long, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet, hear their stories, and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success, and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Culture Communication and Brand Moments is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Shelby Joe Long. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Brand and Culture Podcast by Shelby Jo Long. Today, I am joined in the podcast by a member of the Rogue Publishing Partners community, and, and I'm really excited to learn more about her business. Melanie Hershorn is with us, and her company is called VIP Digital Content. I'm really excited to learn more about Melanie's brand and more about her offer and what she can do for authors of books and how she developed her business. So Melanie, welcome to the podcast today. I'm excited to have you here. Thank you, Shelby. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, if you could just give us kind of a, can you start by giving giving us a quick overview about your business and how you got into it? Absolutely. So my business is called, as you mentioned, VIP Digital Content, and I help book can't even talk. I help (laughs) authors with their book marketing. And so what does that mean exactly? We're talking about their online presence, the strategy required to have marketing, not just for their book, but for their brand as a whole. So I kind of fill the space between the publisher and the publicist, because when somebody publishes their book, they're super excited, maybe they have a bestseller campaign, and then they think, okay, well, I'll just hire a publicist. But then the publicist is sending things back to their Instagram, and it's just pictures of spaghetti. And they do not sell books that way. So I fill that space by helping them have their online platform with their social media, their messaging, and their email marketing, and more. So you're kind of a one-stop shop for book marketing. Do you you develop the content and you execute all of it? Is that right? Well, I help them strategize. Help so them strategize. I, so it's it's sort of a done with you system sure. uh, where you know the book is a gold mine, and unfortunately, a lot of times people don't realize maybe what's in there or they don't know how to organize it efficiently and strategically. Or maybe they're afraid that if they tell people what's in their book, people aren't going to buy it, (laughs) which is not true. They will. Um, So when I work with a client, um, it's in a one-on-one situation or in a program where it's sort of a go at your own pace. And what we're doing is we're helping you develop your strategy for your marketing that isn't just going to stand you in good stead for the book that you've written, but it also helps weave your book marketing into your brand marketing as a whole. Oh, I love that. You've, you help find the diamonds in the rough that's in the, that's in the, that are in the book that you can draw people in with. That's great. It's true. And it's true. And so when somebody works with me, they have, you know, 60 to a hundred plus content topics just put in a spreadsheet for them so that they can always know what to go back to. And so when I, when I have a a sign a new client, I will end up sitting and reading the book and it takes me hours because I'm copying and pasting from the book, the things that really stand out that will fall into their content pillars. Gosh, that's so valuable. As you know, I am just finished. My book is almost in production. We're in the editing, final editing phase. And it's just interesting because you look at your manuscript and you just, you almost just shudder because there's so much there and to have somebody focus that is really key. I think that's an amazing service that you offer. Kate, how did you, how did you get into it? What, what about you inspired you to get into book marketing? Well, it was not a linear thing. I will tell you, (laughs) I started out in publicity Uh, 20 years ago. And then I moved into journalism and I have a master's in journalism. I worked on the radio, newspapers, TV. And then I, I got laid off from my job when I was five months pregnant. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to try something because that has been sort of calling on me. I have to design breastfeeding clothing. 
Okay, sure. So that's what I did. I decided I am going to be an entrepreneur and I'm going to do that. And I sold my clothes on Nordstrom.com and Amazon and uh, boutiques across North America. And then I made a really big mistake and I hired somebody to help me with my marketing. And um, I'll spare you the gory details, but by the end of it, I felt like I was an inch tall and I had oh. very little self-esteem left. Um, and I closed the business shortly thereafter. So I thought, okay, well, what can I do now with all the experience that I have? What if I help business owners with their marketing? I support them, I partner with them, and I advocate on their behalf so they don't have to suffer what I just suffered through for the past year. Right. And then I, you know, I was really trying to narrow down who I could work with and working with authors was just the perfect fit because as a journalist, one of my favorite things of the job was it was different every single day. And I got to learn new things every single day. And with authors, I get to learn new stuff that I would not know every day with my clients. So for example, last night, I learned all about financial advisor stuff and the the globalization of stocks. Interesting. And you know what? It was, it was, and it wasn't something that I wouldn't pick that up. You know, I'm sitting there watching uh, real housewives of name a city. Right. But now I know all this new th- stuff that I wouldn't know without getting to work with those authors. So, so it definitely feeds a passion of yours and contributes to your growth. And then also, I mean, that you have the opportunity to help clarify some of those things for entrepreneurs. Absolutely. I think and, and not only that, it's like you write a book and you know this perfectly, you write a book because you have a mission and I get to help further that mission. Right. And that's everything. We work in very similar spaces, different ways to, you look for ways to articulate it and help monetize it. And th- that's what I do too, is help, help monetize your ideas in a different way and, and be able to produce your book and then do these things. There's a lot of synergy in what we do. So I think that's, that's a, uh, well, it's great. We're all part of Rogue Publishing. So we're just there to help authors do that. I, I think what, one thing that really sticks out to me is that you really, in what you're saying about this, you really help push biz, like book writers to really dig into their business. And that's, you know, we have this mission, we have this message that we want to send, but then thinking about it in a bigger context of like, what's my brand? What am I doing? How am I supporting? How am I, how am I developing a business out of my words? which speaks to your journalism background for sure. Yeah. And I love how, I love how you just um, sort of wrap that up in a beautiful bow. Yes. Because one of the greatest, saddest things is when authors have a box of unsold books collecting dust. Right. And if you wrote this book for a reason, then let's let the world know let's move your mission, move your, maybe you have a movement that you really want to start. I mean, I I have a client who, whose memoir about all the horrible big T traumas that she suffered as a child, uh, you know, you name it, it happened kind of thing. She is starting a movement called trauma fighters with, with intent to help anybody who has been uh, the victim of childhood molestation or who's, who's a survivor of, of any kind of, of abuse. And so she's written her memoir, which is so funny. It shouldn't be given the subject, but it's actually really funny in a lot of ways. And, and she's taking that book and it's the foundation. It's the jumping off point. And I, and I think that that's what a book can really be. You know, people say, well, it's your calling card. Yes. And it can be so much more. It's just that you have to know how to leverage it. Exactly. Which I think it, it, you formed your own business out of your passion. And it's really just, to, I'm going to talk about rogue publishing for a little bit. And I'd like you to talk about it too, but the, just for people, for the listeners that know rogue publishing partners, we're a collection of service providers for independent authors. And we help 
books become published and to get your voice and to get your ideas out to the world. And I think I feel that it's an amazing conglomerate of knowledge and expertise that independent author, authors can access. And I, I'm very excited about the whole partnership because we can accomplish so much more together than we can apart. So can you can you talk about a little bit about why why you decided to align with the Rogue Publishing Partners too? Absolutely. So I wouldn't call it a conglomerate because that to me is not a good word to describe it because these people are not just business people, you know, shaking right. hands and exchanging things. This is this is a a community. Mm-hmm. We all get it. Yeah, right? We all get what authors are experiencing. And we work so beautifully together because we understand what an author's needs are from literally start to finish. So I am so thrilled to be part of Rogue because I get to rub shoulders with people who get it and who are so good at what they do. So- So the the clients that are coming in and saying, you know, I want to write a book, I want to publish a book, I want to market a book. These are all high caliber people who are, who are serious about their book and they're serious about their business. Totally reframe the word. Yeah. That's a, it's a community of these amazing professionals that were, there's such high quality work, but then it, it, makes it it's a it's a place where independent authors can find the solutions that they need so it's a it's it's like you remember when online dating started and people are like oh this is like shopping for a significant other this is even better than that (laughs) right there's and for the for people that don't know about rogue publishing we are there are many service providers there there's multiple editors there's multiple, we have a few publishers, we have some business development people. So there's, there's something, there's a, a match for whatever service you need. And there's lots of options for that. And that's why we have that partnership is to be able to provide enough options for that. So. And I'm going to just, you know, say how great you are because these people have been vetted. Yep. You know, I hear a lot oh, well, I just felt like I was on a conveyor belt (laughs) to get my book finished. That's not what this is. Right. This is vetted experts who are not trying to be everything to everybody. We stay in our lane and, and, you know, we're the authority in our individual space. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're connected in that. So it's a, it's a great, great place to be. As a fellow, fellow entrepreneur, you you probably can identify with me that it's it's a lonely place. It, it, just your story about like a developing this thing to market and then being left alone by your marketer, and I mean it's it's a lonely place to be, and it's nice to be surrounded by people that have those solutions. And I that's I think it's a model that is just spectacular for industries like publishing industries, like advertising and marketing. And there's many different places that we can put that expertise to be able, a trusted network, which is so important. Absolutely. Trusted network. Yes. I love that. Yeah. Well, Melanie, is there, what, what what's next for your business? I'm excited to hear about, about what you're, what you're working on, what you're developing, what kind of clients you're trying to talk to, what can we do to help grow your business right now? Ooh, thank you. Well, every other month I host a cocktail party, a virtual cocktail party for nonfiction authors. And so I love to bring authors together to celebrate them and their books. And, you know, I do a little bit of marketing strategy in there, but it's really about bringing people together. Cause you mentioned marketing is lonely, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> so um, anybody who is listening, who would want to attend, it's going to always be the same link. <laughs> so you can always join for whenever it is coming. You just want to make sure you bring a copy of your book so you can hold it up and show it up. <laughs> and, um, if I can tell you the link, it's vipdigital.live slash party. Awesome. <laughs> well, we'll, so, make, we'll make sure that 
that your website link and that link is in the YouTube channel and all that. So people know where to go. I appreciate that. And so, yeah, so I, I am always looking to meet and support nonfiction authors wherever they are in their journey. Sometimes they've written a book already and nothing happened and they realize, wait, I can still revive this because it's evergreen and the information hasn't gone anywhere. So I just remember to believe in yourself and, you know, as, as you know, writing a book is not easy. And you've, when you do that, you already set yourself uh, above. Absolutely. That's a, uh, but it is a challenging process. So, well, that's great. Melly. I'm excited to, the, to, to be a part of a similar network with you. I look forward to working with you in multiple different ways because what we do is very synergistic. It'd be kind of fun to talk about some opportunities of what we could do together, but just the opportunities and the expertise that you provide authors and as they're getting their word out about their business and starting their movement, I think is tremendous. So I'm really glad that you joined us today to talk about your expertise. Thank you so much, Shelby. I appreciate it. And we'll sign off. And next time I will be joined by somebody else to talk about their brand, to talk about what they do for clients and how being a part of these communities is such an important part of business. So contact Melanie Hershon with VIP digital content for your book marketing needs. I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to Culture, Communication, and Brand Moments with your host, Shelby Jo Long. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates, and we will see you on the next episode.